11 months to get a COVID, uh, COVID vaccine. Amazing. Breathtaking speed. Why? Usually takes many, many years. So why was it faster this time? Science, scientists who pioneered a type of research that I can't even explain to you, um, but it paved the way for Pfizer and Moderna's vaccines. Now, one of the people who you just can't leave out of this conversation is everything that we need to hold dear tonight. Dr. Kate Kuriku joins me now. And the story of American success, if ever, Hungary born, came here with nothing, desperate for a better life and to teach. Everything was made hard because of where she was coming from and being a woman in a field uh, that is very hard on women, had to leave her family, had to work all the time, but she made research happen that nobody thought was possible. Thank you for being with us, doctor. Thank you for making hope possible in our country tonight. Thank you for having me. It's so when you heard that the trial had been successful with Pfizer and Moderna, I read that you were not really surprised that the vaccines were proving effective even after such a short time. Why? What did you know that we had to learn? Uh, I expected that it will work because uh, we already had uh, enough experiment and uh, I was confident that it will work. And uh, I am very happy that it really worked. I heard you celebrated with an entire bag of chocolate covered peanuts. Yeah, it was Gruber. Yeah, that's my favorite. But, you know, I am not the kind of exuberant person who, yeah, this, this, this was nice. Well, I think that's exactly what a scientist should be, is that you're all about the next achievement and figuring it out and that you're not surprised by what you've already shown. Now, people need to know this almost didn't happen. How hard did you have to fight for this type of um, methodology of science and using RNA uh, to be used this way? How hard was the fight? It was difficult because the people did not believe that uh, messenger RNA can be a therapy. And uh, together with uh, my colleague, Drew Weissman, at the University of Pennsylvania, we developed uh, this method where we changed uh, one component in the RNA, which made it uh, less immunogenic. And uh, it is possible to use it for a different kind of therapy. And also, it turned out that it is the is better for vaccine. And uh, so it took for a while that people will discover our discovery. And then, of course, eventually now that we are very excited that uh, it became a vaccine, part of this vaccine for both companies. And uh, in, really, we will celebrate when, uh, you know, this uh, human, human suffering is over, when you know, the hardship and all of this terrible time will end. And hopefully in the summer, when we will forget about virus and vaccine, then, then, then I will be really celebrating. How confident are you that the vaccine will make that big a difference? I am very, very confident. I myself will get the vaccine on Thursday at the University of Pennsylvania, together with Drew Weissman, as we are together getting a vaccine that some of our discoveries incorporated into. And it is very historic and very important for us to get the vaccine.